Good morning everyone, Eid Mubarak to all of you. I hope you uh, enjoy the Eid uh, holiday. Okay guys, today we are going to start with lesson 16, function with harvester, code.org. Okay, as you know, we started with a function uh, the last, uh, not two weeks ago, and we uh, having lesson 15 for two periods. Okay, if you didn't complete it, please, you need to do it first before you do lesson 16 to understand what you are not need to do. Okay, guys, lesson 16 function with Harvester. Our learning objective to create a program using loops and functions. Success criteria, create a program of eight blocks contain loops and one function till puzzle four. You need to complete till puzzle four. Create a program of 27 blocks containing loops and two functions you need to complete this success criteria you need to complete puzzle six then create predetermined multi functions multi functions to complete commonly repeated task it's more than more than two function okay you need to complete till puzzle 11 after puzzle 11 there is 12 13 and 14 these are function, uh, I need this is for, uh, if you complete till puzzle 11, you can complete 12, but mostly you need to complete till puzzle 11. Okay guys, to complete practice or uh, success criteria number three. Just also I want to remind you with the vocabulary that we take it also. Function, what's mean function? A piece of code that you can easily call over and over again. Okay, for the students, they didn't see the lesson 15, they need to watch lesson 15 first before go to do lesson 16. Okay guys, now let's go to the code.org. This is lesson 16 function with Harvester. We're gonna start with puzzle one. Okay, let's watch this video together. <laughs> is the harvester. She runs a big farm and needs your help to pick the crops that are ready to be harvested. Use the move and turn blocks to get the harvester from crop to crop. Then use the pick blocks to collect all of the corn, lettuce, and pumpkins. The bottom right corner will show you how many are available at that spot. If you see more than one, you'll need to pick the crops multiple times in the same square. Keep an eye out for sprouts. You won't know what crop those are or how many there are until the program is run. So your code may need to check what kind of crop is there before picking it. The sun is shining and it's time to harvest. Let us get started. Okay guys. These, the video actually, it was also in the previous lesson. Just you need to click continue if you, you don't need to watch it again. Then just go to puzzle two. Puzzle two guys, let me click start over to show you how to do this one. Okay, here we go. I need you to think with me guys, how we can do this one. Okay, the harvester need to reach to the pumpkin to get this one. Have we met before, Emma, the harvester? Okay, help the harvester to get the pumpkin and get, pick that one. Okay, how we can do this one, guys? There is many ways to do. You can put two move forward, right? Then reach here, or you can use what? While loop, while there is a bath ahead, what move forward then in the end what we need to do i need to go to the action pick pumpkin too easy this one right <coughs> done okay now we are done let's go to the puzzle number three okay in puzzle number three let me delete whatever here also Okay, guys, when you come to the puzzle three, you will find only there is one function, one function. Oh, vagis are cropping up 
everywhere. Now help the harvester to pick all the corn on the way to the pumpkin in the end. Here guys, we don't know actually, as is showing in the video, we don't know what is this is a corn or uh, what's called the any of the vagus. We don't know. Okay, maybe lattice, maybe something else. Okay, it means we need to find a way to do this one. Actually, if you look to the function here, check square for corn. If there is a corn, big corn, but he didn't tell you anything here also. He didn't only only corn, but maybe there is nothing here. Maybe this is corn or nothing. Maybe this is corn or nothing. Okay, but we know this is corn and corn then one bumpkin. They didn't tell us there is no lattice. There is no any lattice here actually, he, as per the instruction, okay? Okay, if there is a corn, pick corn. Okay, we need to repeat the things until we reach where guys to the pumpkin. There is any loop saying something like this? Let's see. Yes, there is repeat until there is our pumpkins. Okay. What we're gonna do first? What we need to do first, guys? We're gonna use what the, what if this function, we can use it, check the square for core. Then we let them after that move forward. Okay. They will uh, com complete this. They're going to do what? If there is a corn here, it will pick it because we already put the function inside, right? We, we call the function that we already created. If you remember, we did this on the previous lesson. We call the function. Then we move forward. Okay, in the end, what we need to do, there is a pumpkin. There is anything saying pumpkins here? No, it means we need to go to the action pick pumpkin. Okay, how many how many uh, blocks we use here, guys? Eight out of eight. It means, I think it's, we already do the right way. Got it, guys? As you see, there is no nothing on that two planets there. It was nothing. Okay, that's why we don't know. Okay, let's come to the puzzle four. Puzzle four, it's it's when you come to the first here, guys, you will find it. It's no, it's complicated. How we can do this? Okay, guys, I want to s s look here, guys. Also, in the end, what is having here? Pumpkin. Okay, what we did this one exactly what we did in the puzzle number three right same thing in the end here what there is pumpkin means we're gonna do the same thing in loop repeat until there is a pumpkin okay then we're gonna use this function if there is a corn pick corn we're gonna go to the function pick this function and put it here then also what move forward exactly what we did in puzzle three this is exactly what we do in puzzle three then in the end, what guys pick what pumpkin? This is in the end here, right? Okay, after that, we need to turn, right? We need to turn left. Then move forward two times. This thing is easy for you guys. Move forward two times, or I can use the repeat block. Move forward two times, then I need to turn again what? Left right okay what happened here guys exactly what is happened here see if you look here what you're going to do here exactly what you did here right there is a corn okay and there is one in the end the what pumpkin but this one i don't know it's a corn or nothing that's why we're gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna go to the loop repeat and tell what there is a pumpkin also gonna use what the function do square for corn move forward then in the end what pick pumpkin we are repeating the things again because this one is repeating what we did here then I click run got it guys I hope you understand puzzle number Four. If you didn't understand it, you can go back and 
see the video again from that explaining too. Okay, number five. In number five, guys, it is the same exactly, but two function. We use how many function here, guys? Two function. Let me click start over to see how we do this from the beginning. Okay. We add another one function to make our code more easy, guys. Okay. Okay, we need to check this one. Check square for corn. This is the one we used before. If there is a corn, pick a corn. We already did this before. But we have a new one here, function. Get all pumpkins. Because, guys, here, why? The difference here from the other puzzle, the pumpkins are here. We don't know how many pumpkins. Before in the puzzle four and three, is mentioned one pumpkin and one. That's why we create a function here to make what? To get all pumpkins okay while there is a pumpkin what we'll do pick pumpkin okay how we can do this guys exactly what we did in puzzle four but there is some changes we're gonna do okay first what we need to do guys repeat until there is pumpkin exactly check what we're gonna use now the first condition First, sorry, first function, check for square for corn, then move forward, then what? Pick pumpkin. No, we did before pick pumpkins, okay? But we're gonna do what here, guys? What do you think? What do you think, guys? What? You're going to click, get a function, get all pumpkins. Okay. Then you're going to do the same thing. What? Turn left. Right. Then move forward two times. Easy, right? Then turn left again. And then what are we going to do? Same things. You're gonna go first to the loops, repeat until there is a pumpkin. Then what we're gonna do, go to the function, check square for corn. These names, guys, we can create check square for corn. You already can rename it, you remember? We can rename also the name of the function itself, right? Okay, then one move forward. Then what in the end, guys? We're gonna use the new function, get all pumpkins, because in the end here also there is pumpkin. We don't know it's one or more. Let's try now. See, there is more, it's four and three. Got it, guys? Okay, I'm gonna stop with you guys here till puzzle five. I need you to try with puzzle six, seven, Eight here, there is a video, you need to watch it. Okay, the nine, 10, 11. Okay, I need you all complete till 11. For the students, find them that they can complete 12 is a challenge, 13. Then in the end, there is a prediction, there is a question, and you need to answer the question. Okay, guys. Just to remind you also, if you want to swipe between the lessons, if you want to go to lesson 15, you click more here to go to the other lessons that you didn't complete it and see the lesson that you want to see. Okay, guys? Okay, I need you also to go to Schoology after you finish and submit a screenshot of your lesson showing this part, guys. Lesson number here and this puzzle. You can take the whole screen uh screenshot i don't need the small parts showing this only maybe you can take it from another lesson i needed to screenshot this part all all the screen okay guys and submit the, to the assignment then you're gonna go to discussion feedback there is a three questions as usual we can do and answer the three question about the function i hope you understand the lesson today if you have any question or for you stuck anywhere on the puzzles, just ask me by sending a message on Oscology.
Thank you guys. See you later. Bye.